Amniotic fluid is a very important part of pregnancy, and it's fluid that surrounds the baby, and it starts to be generated during the first few weeks of the pregnancy, and it's largely generated by the baby itself. And it serves a lot of different important functions. For one, it helps to prevent the baby from trauma on the mother's abdomen. It helps to cushion the umbilical cord during contractions, and it also plays a really important role in the development of the baby's lungs, gastrointestinal tract, and their limbs. During much of the pregnancy, the main component of amniotic fluid is fetal urine. And it sounds gross, but it's actually really cool. And the amount of fluid surrounding the baby is a reflection of how much fluid is getting to the baby and how well their organs are processing it. And it's a very efficient recycling system. They swallow it and they pee it out, and they swallow it and they pee it out. So if there's too little or too much fluid surrounding the baby, then it causes the doctor to wonder about what the underlying cause might be. Does it have to do with the amount of blood flow through the placenta to the baby? Does it have to do with a urinary tract obstruction? Or is the baby having difficulty swallowing? Are there abnormal abnormalities affecting that. So as you can see, the amount of fluid surrounding a baby is important. If the doctor measures your fluid level and says that there's too little fluid, this is called oligohydramnios. And causes might be a urinary obstruction in the baby's urinary tract. It could be reduced blood flow to the baby as mentioned previously. A lot of moms think that if they drink more water, then that will make her amniotic fluid levels increase. And in some cases, if a woman hydrates herself and rests, it can increase the amniotic fluid levels, but really it depends on the underlying cause. Because if you consider, um, if like a baby has a urinary tract obstruction, if the mother drinks more, it's not going to help that problem. So it really depends on the underlying cause. Now, if the baby has too much fluid, this is called polyhydramnios, and underlying causes can include maternal diabetes. It can also have something to do with the baby's gastrointestinal tract. Maybe they're not able to swallow. Maybe the baby has um, anomalies or heart problems. All of these things can contribute to abnormally high amniotic fluid levels, but sometimes everything looks good um, with the baby, but there's still high levels, and so, if you have abnormal levels, talk with your doctor about it, and they'll be able to explain the things that they're considering and that they're watching for and monitoring for, and um, it may also have implications for delivery. For example, if you get far enough along and your amniotic fluid levels are, be are below a certain point, then the doctor may recommend induction because that increases the chances of, of the umbilical cord being compressed, and that can affect blood flow to the baby, and so the doctor determines it's time to deliver. Or if your amniotic fluid levels are super, super high, when it comes time to deliver, the doctor may be concerned about a ton of fluid coming out at once if your water were to break spontaneously. And so they might want to break your water under a controlled environment, make it so it's a slow leak and it reduces the chances of the umbilical cord slipping out or having problems during labor. Women with abnormal amniotic fluid levels may wonder if there's anything that they can specifically do to correct the problem. And in most cases, there's not anything that you can do. Um, it really depends on the underlying cause. And so ultimately, I suggest talking with your OB provider if you have more questions or concerns about your circumstances. And based on their knowledge of what's going on with you, they can give you tailored information and advice. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.